Nature and time have a way of healing things. In the burned out hills of Swanton, near Santa Cruz, flowers and greenery spring up near blackened trees burned two years ago by the CZU Lightning Complex fire. The Swanton Pacific Ranch looks tidier than it did that summer when fire destroyed its historic railroad, badly damaging buildings, tracks, and several of its engines. Then railroad director Charlie Crabb vowed to rebuild. It's too much to walk away from. It's just too important. The railroad's engines were built for the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition. Over the decades, they became scattered across the state. But Al Smith, founder of Orchard Supply Hardware, collected the engines together and created the Swanton Pacific Railroad on his sprawling ranch. Al Smith earmarked this land and said, this is where my railroad is. When Smith died in the early 90s, he gifted the railroad and ranch to Cal Poly University. Volunteers kept the railroad going through thousands of hours of work, hosting parties and public events. The fire brought the end of the line. When the CZU Lightning Complex fires went through, it was, it was devastating. Molly Engelman, secretary of the Swanton Railroad Society, grew up on these tracks. Um, I've been a volunteer at the Swanton Pacific Railroad since I was about three or four years old. Because we've put in a lot of work. After the fire, she and other volunteers rolled up their sleeves to begin the rebuilding, helping Cal Poly's crowdfunding effort to restore the ranch. That really gave us the impression that Cal Poly was really behind uh, the rebuilding. But this week came news that felt like a freight train. An email from Cal Poly informed the Volunteer Society the university no longer plans to rebuild the railroad. It says the $10 million estimated restoration cost is too much to bear. Instead, it plans to find an organization to donate the remaining engines and equipment. That letter basically said it's going to cost Cal Poly too much to rebuild the railroad, so we don't want to. Representatives of Cal Poly declined to do an interview. They steered us to the university's letter to the society, calling it a difficult decision. The letter says Cal Poly will use the ranch for educational purposes, but the railroad does not fit within the strategic intent of the ranch. By gifting it all to Cal Poly, that was supposed to be its best home, and that was supposed to be the forever home. Engelman fears the collection of engines will become separated again denying the public a chance to see and ride a rolling piece of history. Very much goes against what Al Smith wanted. The Railroad Society says it's writing letters, hoping to get the university to change its mind. Otherwise, this unique piece of Bay Area history may steam off into the sunset. Joe Rosado, Jr. I can just picture Al rolling over in his grave. NBC Bay Area News.